going on guys welcome back to afterlife reptiles and as you can see i have a mess and you know that's just to give you a good idea you know people usually try to clean up for the videos for youtube and stuff but i thought it'd be a good idea to show you you know how messy you can get this is not from days and days and days or out from days out get out Mario. out anyway this is not from days and days and days of you know just uh bedding collecting up or anything like that it's just from a change bedding change for our brands over here and since i'm gonna be cleaning up and changing uh one of my retix uh, cages valeria you know i didn't want to clean up and then make another mess again and i wanted to show you what it takes to clean you know one of these cages uh, whatever cage it might be that you're gonna have a minute if you're considering uh, getting a particular type on you know if you already have a big one then you don't you know what it's like right but if you're thinking about getting one or you just got a baby one right now this is what you have to look forward to okay so it's a good idea to see always look up and see uh, maintenance for the animal that you want because a lot of times they have great temperaments they're beautiful display animals or beautiful companions and pets but you know you always want to look into what it takes to take care of that their um, you know temperature humidity bedding water cage size cage size all that stuff because um, that's one of the things about retail you're gonna need some big big cages for them okay depending on how big they get how big is this one uh, I have no idea last time she was like 13 feet, you know, and she has been eating like crazy. She does not refuse a meal ever. And she'll grab those rabbits like it's nothing. We actually have to bump up uh, her rabbit size to five pounders now. Um, so that's what she's done. She's used to doing four pounders very easily. Now I gotta get five pounders for her. But anyway, enough of that. So, first thing that you gonna keep in mind when you're gonna approach a retic cage is depending on your retic they have they are very very aggressive eaters for the most part okay so you want to make sure that depending on the type of retic, retic you know or actually your retic can turn out two, two ways they can be very calm and tame or patient or they can be very very aggressive uh, even if they're not trying to be aggressive towards you, they just think that you might have food or you think it's your food or whatever. And they can actually launch and try to bite the glass. Obviously, they don't know that there's a glass in there. They'll just strike a glass. So you always want to make sure that, you know, um, you don't just come up to the retic cage. If you have, you can have a retic that is just too excited and just go for the glass. And a lot of times they can hurt themselves. Uh, I actually acquired these cages, one of these cages from a guy that claims that he is retic, and I saw it too. He has a lot of these cages and claims that his retics broke the glass, which is why he switched to plexiglass. If you can see this one right here, that's plexiglass. This one up top, they originally come with uh, just straight glass. As you can see here, Whoever had a retic in here, um, it, it's very possible that a retic did this. Well, I don't know, maybe they just dropped it on the side or something. But it is very possible for retics to break the glass. And as you, if you get close right here, this is this is the original glass. It's pretty thick, you know. So they have a lot. They're very strong. So be careful, you know. That's one of the things they have to understand. Be careful. I also just want to say there's not any animal in here, so we're not disturbing anyone. Yeah, there's no, there's no one here. So what I'm gonna do, because um, I messed up and I used one of my tubs where I put my retic in when I'm gonna clean. I don't have anywhere to put her. So what I did is I moved my retic here from one of my to one of my racks. She's smaller, so she can fit. So I'm gonna move her from here to here and then I'm gonna clean her cage. But Where is she? She is in there, and one is also lighting in here, but for now, this is what I have. 
That's what we're cleaning. Yeah. Yeah. So this is way, way past the cleaning um, stage. Uh, I'm going to mean I messed up. And I'm trying to be, you know, as honest as possible. You know, I messed up, but, you know, she's still pretty comfortable in that. Reason why, and that's the, the whole reason why that I do that. Um, a lot of people will use paper or newspaper or, or butcher's paper um, as bedding. And I don't like it because, you know, I mean, I, I'm, at least I'm going to start at a... At a, at a place where I don't have a lot of retakes. Someone that has a lot of them, I get it. It will be very expensive to have this type of bedding in there for all your retakes. So it's not um, money-wise sufficient. So I get it. But I like to use this cocoa thing because that she has pee in, that pee in there. She has a little bit of poop. Um, sometimes it gets hard trying to take out all the poop because she's right there ready to strike um but uh if i open the door it doesn't smell it, it it barely smells you know and that's what i like about this bedding so the snake is not in there with that constant smell of her pee as opposed to when you know even a, a ball python they'll be in there and if it's if i have them one of these right here for some reason uh, it'll smell instantly, you know. It'll, it'll get really smell it, smell it in there. And they don't like it, and they start, you know, trying to get away from that, you know. But that's one of the things that I like about this. How much bedding would you say you use for her cage? Uh, right around one block, one block of uh, rectitude. That's that's what I have to use for her cage. I would say that that cage is about four feet by three feet. Yeah. Yeah, that's the size. So anyway, so first thing I'm gonna do is I know, make sure that you know where she is. You know, the face is right over there. So I'm pretty safe to come over here and start messing around in her cage. I'm gonna open it just enough so that I can take her water bowl out. And if she tries to strike right here, she's not gonna be able to strike me. She'll strike the plexiglass, which again is, you know, pliable so she won't for herself as much as you know one of these guys are right here so i'm just gonna she's hungry by the way yeah she is hungry even though she ate not too long ago just like a kind of like um you know uh, just to keep her going for a little while so there she is in all her beauty yeah, and she's a golden child. Okay, she's a female, and she's pretty thick. She's thick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this ready right here, and when you're gonna approach a retic, and pretty much any retic, um, you're gonna encounter a uh, couple modes that they have. And by that I mean is if I try to reach in there right now, she's probably gonna strike and grab me and go into a feeding mode. Or she can go into defensive mode where she's just gonna, you know, tag me and back up and be ready to tag me again. She can even tag me a couple times if she wants to. What mode would you say she's in right now? Right now it could be either one. It could be feeding or it could be defensive mode. So what I want to do is to snap her out of that, let her know, hey, you know, one, you can't eat me, two, I'm not trying to eat you, you know, so you need to relax, and so she's either going to go into a handability mode, or she's going to go into a flight mode, and which is the reason why I didn't bother cleaning up, because once she goes into flight mode, and even if she's into handle, or you can handle me, you know, you know, she'll still move around and she'll push all the pain out. And, uh, you know, it's it, messy. It, it's gonna make a mess. I'm gonna have to clean again anyway. So, to take her out and to test her out, you know, one of the things that you're gonna need is one of these, you know, unless you have an extremely ridiculously calm retake. And even then, I would not, you know, recommend that you reach in there. 
The reason why I don't is because it does, just doesn't make sense for you to take that risk. Because if you happen to misjudge a retick and she takes a bite at you, you know, you risking a hospital bill. <laughs> Very expensive hospital bill. You know, any hospital bill is expensive in my opinion. You're gonna have to uh, go to ER. Stitches. Stitches. You know, if you're lucky, you can take care, uh, care of it at home. But again, why risk it? You know, get a hook, make sure. You know what I mean? So, what I'm gonna do is with this part right here, kind of like touch her. Let her know, hey, I'm going in, I'm gonna grab you. You know, you need to cooperate. And if she tries to, like, she can actually attack the hook, which they usually won't. But, you know, what I'm trying to do is get her to snap out of that. And then also to uh, move her head away from me to stop her from concentrating. So you get close. Is this something that you train them for, or? Uh, they don't really get used to. I mean, there's such a thing as called hook training. Well, they will actually recognize the hook, believe it or not. And uh, you know, they'll know that it's the hook, not to attack it. And then once they get touched by the hook, they'll know a to calm down but uh, here we go so it's just a basic touching it as you can see she doesn't like that she pushes away and she's gonna start to buckle and try to push the, the hook away as you can see right now she's on a defensive mode she's not in a feeding mode anymore okay because feeding mode they'll just strike and try to wrap she's in a defensive mode she's like I am gonna throw a bite at you if you don't back up so what I'm gonna do is just gently tap her face away with the hook see that and they'll react very very quickly and try to get her to yep. move away from me and stop concentrating on where I am where I'm doing okay so right now she's far away from me I could reach right here and grab her and pull her and with, with reach exercise you want to be as fast as possible because they'll try to run away and then you'll basically be chasing. That's chasing. the last night. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be chasing her all over the, the freaking cage. So what I'm gonna do is just to be extra face. See, she's turning again. Okay, she's trying to go back into that defensive mode again. So I'm gonna tap her again and make sure that she moves. And look at that. Whoa. She is very, very defensive. Okay. So, and always, you know, you always wanna play a little math with retakes. You want to look at her coils and think, okay, if she was to strike at me right here, right now, if she's bent like this, okay, and she tries to strike, you know, how far do I have to, how far away do I have to be so that she's not able to tag me, okay? So you always want to look at those coils, think if she strikes, you know, I'm at a safe distance, okay? Right here, I am, she wouldn't be able to reach me. Okay, so again, I'm gonna tap her over here and slowly move towards, towards her face and tap her face. Come on, move away, back up. Back oh, up. she doesn't wanna give up. No, she is, she wants to turn the other way and I need her to turn that way. Uh-oh. It's a little bit of playing around with them, see? So at that point, what I like to do is just grab them with the hook and start pulling, pulling them this way. And you want to grab a good amount of the snake to hang on to. And the hook doesn't hurt them, right? The what? Oh, there she comes. No. No, it doesn't hurt them. Always keeping, you know, always being aware of where her face is. And you basically just want to, she's smart. You know, she knows that's, that's the open space. She, he gets me here, I'm done. So I got a good hold of her right there. And they are very, very strong. I wanna lift her up and basically not give her any um, traction on the floor so that I can pull her out. Uh, and she insists, like, no, no. There goes go. the bedding. There goes the bedding. There goes the bedding, yes. Let me go back. Let me go back. And she, it's tug of war. Yes. Ah, uh, here we go. Come on. Come on. Oh. Got you. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you want me to help? No. And this is an incredible exercise. So now. Who needs a gym? What I'm going to try to do is to get her to calm down. And once she's like this. She's calm. Usually she's not going to. She started that defensive mode. Out of that strike mode. If she comes near to my face, I'm going to push her away. Okay. Is she hissing or breathing? She's breathing right there. She has very large lungs, so uh, when she breathes, the, that's beautiful. Her her nose <laughs> holes are so small oh. that um that they make that hissing sound, but it's not that necessarily that she's mad. That's just a. Would you say you're in danger right now since she has a leg wrap? <laughs> No, as long as she's not <laughs> wrapping around your neck or your chest, depending on the size, you know, you know, right here I'm taking my time, you know, but I basically want to give her somewhere to run to so she'll let go of me. <sighs> you know what? <sighs> and encourage her to. To, Stay in. To, to get there, to go in there by yourself, you know. So yeah, that's what I want. I can't really see in there. There we go. She's in there. And this is just temporary. This is just temporary. She's such a big snake, she can easily open this. So you always want to make sure that you lock them. Um, there's her face. Yeah, she's, she's offended. You know, I don't like, to, I don't think that they like to be outsmart. <laughs> she does not look happy. She's in the corner. And I was like, you little rat. How <laughs> dare you? So here's the aftermath. This is actually pretty good. Yeah, this is not too bad. All this could have came out. But that's the reason why, that's the reason why you want to, you know, it, 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 it doesn't make sense to clean up. And... Here it is, the aftermath uh, uh, of this work. very dirty bedding. I will usually go in here and spot clean as much as possible. I knew that I was gonna be cleaning it up soon. Uh, these were very uh, close to her, so I wasn't able to get those. And that's just pee dust right there. Uh, but like I said, I knew that I was gonna be cleaning up, so I didn't bother like super cleaning too much. Oh, and the nice painting she did on the wall for us. Yeah, that's a, a painting that she made for us. So anyway, we're gonna cut the video right there and I'm gonna get the garbage can so I can start taking out the, <laughs> she's, she's not happy. She's not happy, it's like, what bullshit is this? You just took away like- Why, is, why does my house look a lot smaller now? Don't worry, you didn't get evicted. Anyway. <laughs>
had to take her out. As you can see, she has been watching me very close the whole freaking time. Um, so, oh, she's waiting for the second chance. Yeah, she is very curious. She's very, um, she's paying attention, you know. Right here, be careful, you know, with your hands. You don't want to dangle your hands in front of her. Uh, because, you know, not so much that they're gonna hurt you, but they can hurt themselves spreading in the glass. Again, this is real glass, so I don't want her doing that. So I'm gonna go from this side. Will you be changing that to plexi soon? Yeah, eventually I'm gonna change, uh, change it to plexi. I, the, one of the things that I like about the glass, the size of this cage, that means that, you know, being that it's not that big of a snake that's in here, the glass is very heavy, if, I ever forget to close this, she will still have a very hard time opening it. Mm. Okay, so that's that's one of the things that I like about having glass in this size cage. But uh, here we go again, you know, uh, because she's right there, and you know it, it's very easy for her to strike right there. She's gonna be able to reach me when I use the hook to open. Make sure that she doesn't see it. That way she doesn't have a target, okay? And then I'm gonna go in and tap her or boop her with the hook, making sure that I do it with this side, that way she doesn't get hurt with this pointy part. You know, and go away, one. Yeah, and now she's hissing at me. There you go. So now she's uh, looking the other way, so now I can open this. I'm actually gonna remove the water bowl because you know because she's such a large snake. And next time I'm gonna make sure that I have a actual container where I can put her in. But <clears throat> she's such a large snake, she's gonna make a mess. So I'll move this. Should you reach here. for the um, height? She's pushing it. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna she's gonna make a mess no matter what. She's gonna she's gonna be moving everything. It's fine. How do you know she's hissing or breathing? Uh, I mean, at, at this point right now, you don't know. You don't know what she's. So I wanted to come. Uh, oh, there's get, her face. Get more of her right here where I have my opening. When I put this you know, too, that way it's not right on her face. Come on. That way. That way. Come on. Now, right there, that's what it is. She's coiled up. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. You want to kind of guide her to where you want her? Is that where you want her? And I can't really see it there. This is why you want to put her in a container. It's a pretty bad oh. spot. Come on. Come on, girl. Come if on. she lunges right now. Watch that coil. Make sure that she decides to strike. She can't get you. So right there, that she turn. That's a good time. Oh my God! I want her pushing on the baby. It's bound to happen. Come on, come on, girl. And again, you wanna get that traction away from her. Keep lifting her, oh. lifting her, lifting her and pulling her up. at the same time uh, to get that traction away from her. Ah, uh, she grabbed onto the height. She's hanging out there. Uh, I'm gonna move this. There you go. Uh, good job. There we go. Oh, that was her only defense. That is and once she's out, you know, she basically gets up. <laughs> you know. You're not hurting her. I, that his or breath? This, this is breathing. That's breathing right there. And you just wanna like, 
keep twisting to kind of kind of manipulate where you want her to go. You move this way, you move that way. You see that? Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> depending on which way you want her to go, that's how you're gonna twist and uh, get her to go to where you want her to go. Yeah. Look at that, she's gorgeous. And once she's like this, you know, see that? See where she's going? So I'm gonna turn, okay? She's back to where I want her to be. I don't want her to be in there, in there yet. Okay? Look at that mess she made on the floor. <laughs> yeah. But look at that beauty. Yeah, she's heavy. The rainbow. She's so heavy. I'm already tired. My biceps are tired. What? <laughs> you were raising your hand. My daughter's raising her hand like she's in school. You wanna go pet her? You wanna ask a question? What? I know she is. You want to touch her? Look at the rainbow. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Oh, now I want her to go in her cage. Let her go in. She wants to go to the top. She wants to go. Come on. Pull her out. There you go. See? Nice and easy. And, and you the can, mess. And you can, um, you know, manhandle them. You're not going to hurt them. They are extremely strong. You pull them all you want. You know, they, they, you're nothing to them. At this size. What would you say she eats in the wild? Chickens, more than anything. Chickens and, you know, whatever she can get her hands on. She's able to eat it. She'll eat it. At least she'll try to eat it. There she is. And look at me. Now she's back in that defensive mode. See how how easily they can switch. <laughs> she knows that she's not being held. She has her full body on the ground. And she's like, all right, come at me now. She's like, let's do it again. Come on, try doing that shit. You were talking all that shit again. <laughs> well. There it is. Back in her cage. How long is she? She is. Um, all right. It's hard to tell. I'm gonna say it's 13, 14 feet. And wait. She went a lot. <laughs> I don't know. See, see what I mean? <laughs> what? Oh, look at her! Look at her waiting for you. She's like, yeah, come get your lock. Come it's get right it. It's right here. Come on, it's just, it's just a lock. Just get it. Just get your lock. Oh man. Get this goddamn lock. But yeah, let me know guys. You <laughs> right. Ow. She is waiting for you to open it. There it is. Back in her nice clean cage. Look at those. Dude, look at that rainbow. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Anyway, look crazy. So I'm gonna keep cleaning up <laughs> all the mess. Look at it. Oh my god, look at this. Look, hidden poop. Oh. Hidden, hidden price. She I found gotta, it. I gotta. That's time to clean this one. Yeah, I gotta spray this bedding too. Um, Jeez. Lucy's not gonna be happy. She's gonna come back and be like, what the hell? Happened here. Someone call the cops. Someone came, oh, God damn it. <laughs> Someone came in here. Robbed her house. Robbed and water. Her house. She's still staring at you down there. It was those damn rats across the street. I Wait. knew it. I gotta spray this. Anyway, guys, so there you have it. You thinking about getting a reset? That's, that's what you're looking at. That's your future. All right, so, you know, I think it's worth it. I really love her. She's really fun. She's beautiful. She's our know, Valentine's Day I don't know why it is with humans and dangerous animals. Uh, we're so attracted to them. But, uh, 
Anyway, there it is, guys. Hope that helps. Hope that gives you uh, an idea. Helps you make a decision. You know, you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to help you out. And until next time, see ya. Thank you.